Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about the metric prefixes and what they mean. We'll use an analogy to help us understand what those prefixes mean as well as we're going to learn some memory tools that will help us write out those uh, prefixes in the correct order so that when we go to convert them it's really easy to do using um, the tool that we're going to make today. So I always like to start with an analogy for the metric system and we're going to pretend that we have a meter long candy bar. And if you had a candy bar this long, you'd probably want to share it with some friends. So let's share, say you wanted to share it with 100 friends. Well, that means you'd have to slice this candy bar into 100 pieces. Well, where would you cut if you were going to slice it into 100 pieces? Well, you'll notice that there's these lines right here, right there, right there, and those lines go all the way down to the very end where they end at 99 is right here. So that means right there would be 100. So that means if you slice any of those lines about a little bit smaller than my fingertip, that is one centimeter in size. So a centimeter is if I took my meter candy stick and I cut it into a um, hundred pieces, I would be left with a centimeter. So right there, that's a centimeter. So everybody would get this much candy if they were your friend, okay? Now, what if you wanted to share it instead with a thousand people, okay? You got a lot of friends here. Well, that means we're going to have to slice it much thinner, right? We have to slice it into a thousand slices. So now we're going to have to go off of these very, very narrow lines. Um, that are a little difficult to see, but there's ten lines in between the one and the two, and between the two and the three. So each of those lines is called a millimeter, and the prefix milli means one one thousandth. So I take my one candy bar and I slide it slice it into a thousand pieces. That means that each piece is a millimeter in size. I'd be about the thickness of maybe maybe your fingernail, like the width of your fingernail is about a millimeter. So you can imagine everybody gets a little sliver of chocolate bar that they could put on their tongue. So um, I like to use a memory tool when I'm teaching this. And the memory tool is King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And I usually have kids write this on their paper like this with the memory tool underneath. Now the value of a memory tool like this is that you can use it to help you remember the prefixes. Similar to the memory tool, my very elegant mother just served us nachos because that helps you to remember the order of the planets. Or in math class, you may have learned, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, as a way of remembering the order of operations in algebra. So if you say this sentence in your head, it should help you write out the letters. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And this is what the actual prefix names are. K is for kilo, H is for hecta, deca, the base unit, deci, centi, and milli. So base units are going to be things like grams, meters, or liters. And those are those single words before we attach another word in front of it. Once you attach a word in front of it, you're modifying that original item that you're talking about. For example, let's talk about meters first. If we look at the capital letters, these are all examples of when we have more than one meter stick. So deca would be if we had 10 meter sticks. Kilo is a thousand meter sticks. So what do you think hecta must be? Well, if this is 10 and this is a thousand, this is probably a hundred. Now, so these are all saying, all right, I have something 
larger than my one candy bar length meter stick. Okay, 10 meter sticks, 100 meter sticks, 1,000 meter sticks long. Now on this side with these lowercase letters, if we attach this prefix to one of these base units, we're talking about we're slicing it in pieces. So we're taking that meter long candy bar and for a decimeter, we're taking that one candy bar and we're splitting it into 10 equal pieces. We're gonna slice the candy bar into 100 pieces or one candy bar sliced into 1,000 pieces. Now everybody would just get a very tiny, tiny bit. For example, we can put the prefix kilo in front of any of these units and we're talking about 1,000 of those units. So a kilometer written like this, kilometer, would mean that we're talking about 1,000 meter long pieces. Where if we wrote milligrams, we're talking about if we took a gram, which is not very big, about the weight of a dime, and you were to cut that weight to 1,000 pieces, is a milligram. Okay, another example would be a centimeter. A centi, this prefix tells you we're gonna cut that meter into 100 different slices to make a centimeter. A decameter, capital D-M, would mean that we have 10 meter sticks laid end to end, a distance of 10 meter sticks laid end to end. Whereas a hecta liter, for example, means that we take a one liter jug of water and instead of just having one liter, we have 100 liters in that container. So kids always ask me, why did you sometimes write some of them in capital letters and some in small case letters? So if you remember our candy bar, Here's the original meter. The um, small units with the lowercase letters are ones where we are cutting up the candy bar to split it between people. Whereas these larger units are situations where we are having multiple candy bars laid next to each other, multiple meter sticks. Okay, so King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk is the strategy to help you remember the names of the units and the sequence of those steps. The major value of knowing the order of these prefixes is going to be to help you convert between them. Frankly, you very rarely hear people use the word hectometers or decaliters or decigrams. They're not phrases that you typically hear. However, um, I'm teaching them to you here because it's going to be very, very useful when we're trying to convert between, say, how many millimeters are in a kilometer or how many centigrams are in a gram. So that's the main value of this. If you watch our next video, you will see how to use this uh, memory tool that you've created to convert between units. Thanks for joining us today at Science Out of the Box.